good morning crew and happy self-love Sunday. So this morning we start with some lemon and cucumber water. This yes is from Panera. I went to Panera yesterday and worked. And I don't know, I love the, the, the cup. So we're going to reuse the cup for today. And we're going to, after we finish this, I'm going to go ahead and have my half a cup, well, a little bit less than half a cup since some of it just spilled. Half a cup of orange juice with my vitamins and I'm gonna get my day started. So, although I like the gym, weekends, like to kind of decompress and just get my thoughts together for the week. A nice walk on a nice sunny day, it does so much, it's so therapeutic. So I'm going to the local school to walk around the track. Each lap is a quarter of a mile. I don't really have an end goal in sight. I'm thinking at least two miles, but I'm gonna be out here at least an hour. So that's what we're gonna do. Hey guys, so I did wanna share with you, I think I mentioned that, so I started something called the 75 Soft Challenge with a group of people, it's about 30 people on Instagram. Um, these are lots of there are like a lot of coaches, like nutrition coaches and things, which is awesome because I need that level of accountability. They are, they real, they are real. Like they are intense. Um, they're talking about two workouts a day. Um, I'm getting messages at five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So I think this is exactly what I need to push me to that next level because you are the company you keep. And the conversations are different when people are elevating. So they've been sending positive messages, personal development videos, book recommendations. It's like, this is my tribe. This is a part of my tribe, right? Because that's me. That is who I am. So I'm super, super excited about connecting with them and getting to know these individuals on another level. And most of them are out here in my area so we can meet up maybe meet up get a couple workouts and we'll see how it goes but god answers god knows what we need and he answers your prayers and he gives you what you need just what you need when you need it so that's my tidbit for today um i'm gonna go ahead and get this walk in Hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday and I'll touch base with you guys later. Okay guys, so I just came from my walk. I had an amazing walk, three miles. Got three miles in actually, it's a beautiful day. Um, listen to some, what did I listen to? Personal development. I listened to Dr. Miles Monroe. I think understanding the meaning of your purpose, something like that, it was really good. So anyway, making some tuna. I went to this event for work on Friday and they had some tuna wraps that looked delicious. It looked like they had curry in them. So I'm adding some curry. So anyway, I drained some tuna, bumblebee white tuna. I drained it, I added some light mayo. Oops, excuse me, there's a lot going on here, so excuse the mess. I'm trying to meal prep and cook something to eat. I haven't eaten anything yet. Light mayo, have some relish. I'm gonna add uh, some chopped onion to it, to the mix with some onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, pepper. And I wanna try something different. So I'm gonna add the curry powder to it. It looked like the tuna had curry powder at the event. And I'm like, I wanna try it. I had a can of tuna. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'll show you guys what everything looks like after I'm done. Okay, so this is what the tuna looks like with the curry. It looks pretty good. So I added some yellow onions. And I'm gonna add some chopped tomatoes and cucumbers to the top. Um, and I'm gonna get some, I think spinach. I made a salad with the rest of my Caesar chopped salad kit, which includes, um, what does it include? Leaf, green leaf lettuce, iceberg lettuce. I used the Caesar dressing and the garlic crouton crumbles, the shredded Parmesan cheese and the black pepper. Then I added some cucumbers on top because I had some left trying to eat as much veggies as possible. And the wrap is the, what I purchased the other day, the sun-dried tomato basil, carvage, 60 calories per serving. And I have some water 
and I'm trying to get my protein in, so I'm gonna make me a protein shake too. I'll show you guys um, my protein shake. Water with lemon and cucumber. This is the final product. I am super excited. I haven't eaten anything today. It's almost two o'clock and I'm ready to eat. So I have my tuna wrap with the curry in it, lettuce, tomatoes, no, spinach, tomatoes, yellow onions. I put some relish in the mix with some light mayo. I added garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and curry powder to the, may um, to the tuna mix. Looks delicious. And I have a Caesar salad with some cu cucumbers added to it. And I have my lemon cucumber water. And then I have my protein shake. So this will be a really good lunch. Brunch, because I haven't eaten anything yet. Then after this, I'm gonna start meal prepping. Okay guys, so this is my first time attempting to make these lima beans. I remember back in the day when I was young, my dad used to make the best lima beans ever. And I have not been even a replicate. Like I tried a couple times back a while ago, years ago, but we're gonna try again. Um, I have a bag of large lima beans and I got some smoked turkey necks. So I'm gonna add one or two of these to the pot. I'm gonna put it in a crock pot now. Apparently, I should have soaked these overnight so they could be cleaned properly. So I'm gonna go and try this route because I wanna eat these for dinner. So I'm gonna try the quick soak method which is to rinse and sort beans in a large pot, and boil water, put them in for two minutes, and then uh, what is it? remove from heat, cover, and let it stand in one hour. Drain, soak water, and rinse beans. Okay, we're gonna do the, the, rinse, the quick soak method to clean them, and we'll see how everything comes out later. I'm excited. Okay, so here is, it's about four o'clock. Here's a little snack. So I switched it up a little bit. I got some chocolate rice cakes and I have some almond butter. So I melted the almond butter in the microwave, put it on the chocolate rice cake, sliced up some bananas. So like, this is like a quarter of a banana. And I put some apple pie spice on it. I think these rice cakes, caramel, the chocolate ones, you can just mix them up and put different things on them and make different different um, sweet treats. So I'm looking forward to this. It looks really good. I'm excited about it. And it's a perfect uh, self-care Sunday treat. Okay guys, so this is how it's turned out. I put three smoked turkey necks in to go with the um, lima beans. I like kind of, so I did the soaking and everything. And then I put garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of sea salt, black pepper and then the smoked turkey necks i think the smoked turkey necks are really what gives the beans the flavor so honestly this is dinner i'm gonna make me a bowl of this i'm gonna cut some of the, the turkey necks off of one and just this is gonna be dinner i've been wanting these all day and i've been really you know i was pretty full i had a really good lunch a pretty full lunch and a protein shake so i don't know i might make another protein shake or I don't know, I'm definitely gonna eat something else. It might be like, it's gonna be something sweet. I don't know what it's gonna be though, but I'm definitely gonna have something as like a end of night thing. It might be a yogurt with a parfait with, with fruit. We'll see, I'll show you anyway. I'm just gonna make a bowl of this for dinner. I'll show you guys in a sec. Okay, so tonight's dinner is nothing extravagant. Just lime beans with a little bit of the smoked turkey neck. I might get some hot sauce to add to it. It's pretty good though. I taste it as really, really good. And then I have my water with lemon and cucumber. So that's dinner. Okay, crew, so we are going to end the night with some really good fruits. I have some strawberries, honeydew melon, raspberries, blackberries, pineapples. I think there might be a cantaloupe or two at the bottom. A little, not a big, huge bowl. Yeah, but this is gonna be dessert. And that'll be it for the night. Good night, guys.